There's a lot of people who've been born into freedom, but they're not living in freedom. What they do is they've been born again, but they still go back to their jail cell. And they've been, the doors have been opened, but they're so comfortable with some of the stuff that used to be a part of their life as they keep going back to the old way of living. They're a new creation, but they're not living as a new creation. They're, they still are living in some bondage that Jesus wants to free them from. And there's a process where we learn to live in freedom. In fact, the apostle Peter describes this in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 16. He says, live, notice this, live, daily live. Make the choice to live in a daily manner. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as God's slave. So he says, I want you to learn to live in your freedom to make some choices day by day where you're not going back to that old, comfortable, familiar jail cell that you've been living in for a long time because now you're born again. You're a new person. Don't live there any longer. Learn to live in freedom. And so it's a process that we engage in for our entire life. I've known Christ for a long time as a believer in Jesus since I was seven years of age. I'm still learning day by day how to live in freedom because there's a pull back to your old jail cell. Are you hearing me? There's a pull back to your old way of living. It's always pulling you. Sin wants to pull you back to that place of incarceration. The adversary, the Bible says, who came to steal and kill and destroy, he goes around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, wants to pull you back into the old way of living. And you must learn, we must learn to live and walk in the freedom that Christ purchased for us. Because we're in a war, we're in a battle. 